the premise of a content management system is about content management, right? I mean, it's not rocket science. Managing content is pretty much like managing a desktop. You have files and you want to organize them. You want to make sure that you put things where they should be, knowing where to look for things. And in general, you know, regulating how your content works and influencing how it works. If your platform isn't tailored for doing these things, you may not actually have a content management system. It might be something else. It might be a blogging platform or something else, but it may not be a content management system. Again, this is not rocket science. So let's focus on Plone. Plone is a complete <laughs> content management system. If you're serious about content management, then you should consider Plone. And I resist the temptation to talk about lots of other things about Plone. So, you know, I could tell you about the active, enthusiastic community, the many books, the fact that it's built on Python, the events and conferences, clone cookies, open source, because it's open source, and the fact that it powers sites like the FBI, CIA, NASA, Brazilian government, and some United Nations projects. But I'm going to skip all of that, because we want to focus on the fact that it's a complete <laughs> content management system, right? Plone is intentionally built. It's actually crafted, designed, and engineered to be a content management system. In other words, unlike other offerings, it started out as a content management system, right, from day one. Originally, it ran on top of this thing called the Zope Content Management Framework. And so I guess Plone is the most well-known distribution of the Zope Content Management Framework. Over the years, it has been refined to make it more and more useful to various audiences. But I'd like to start with a very important matter. Let's talk about security. Plone is secure by design. When I got hacked, I was using a different platform. It was a PHP-based platform, and I thought, you know, I need to start shopping around, because it's not a nice feeling when you're hacked. It's, a, it's as bad as when someone holds you. It's not a nice feeling, right? But let's see how these systems stack up. Last three months, according to the vulnerability database out of the states, last three months for Plone, zero vulnerabilities. All right, this is Plone ever, 21, ever, in terms of vulnerabilities. For Drupal, last three months, <laughs> 39 vulnerabilities. But don't take my word for it. You can go there, you can search. I know this is unfair, so um, Ron will have a chance to defend himself. This is not tight. These are known holes and bugs and stuff like that. Here's a big picture of the last three months in terms of vulnerabilities for all systems. So Drupal 39, WordPress 27, Joomla 6, Clone 0, last three months. Clone is secure by design. Out of the box, Clone is fast. So we're talking about speed now. Clone versus the other content management systems out of the box. This is good. Bigger is faster, is better. This is Plone, this is WordPress, <laughs> Drupal, Joomla 3.6, although, no, sorry, Joomla 1.5, they are 2.5, so we need, they need to update some of them. There were, there was actually a response from the WordPress community about the Plone speed claims. And he, you know, I was like, well, performance enhancement that make your site better without having to add anything, that's probably a good thing, you know? And Plone does not use MySQL. That's actually wonderful. Something is to say, I'm sure WordPress performance can stand its ground against Plone. Well, I guess we'll have to do the test and we'll see how that goes. But you can test all of these things. I, in fact, did a test on a Plone site that I set up at Pingdom. They have an online testing thing and they keep a database of the performance of different sites that you test. This was not a fancy setup site or anything, just a little sandbox, faster than 84% of sites on the internet that have been tested using this tool. So that to me is important. So Plone has been engineered to be, this is a deliberate effort to improve to the point where it's now faster than all of the major PHP CMSs on the market. What makes it so fast? It's not a big secret. Yum. <laughs> right? All right, no, seriously, no, seriously. All right. 
I, I'm not qualified to go into depth. I can't, I can't go into depth about what makes it fast. Uh, but I can give you a couple of things. It's, it has this thing called built-in resource caching. It has a resource registry. And what it does is if you have multiple JavaScript files, it compiles them into a single working JavaScript or a couple single ones and minifies them. And if you look at our clone site, you see a lot of cache keys for things that have been compiled for you. So you get these tiny, a, a much tinier footprint because of that, the minifying. And it also does cache busting. So when you're in debug mode, you're going to end up with a situation where you don't have to keep pressing shift refresh to check if things change and stuff like that. Another thing is the ZODB. And Plone has been doing NoSQL long before all these other guys have been doing it. Because the ZODB is an object-oriented database that has been around for easily a decade or more. But for fear of saying anything else that might be silly or inaccurate, I'm going to move on. So how do you get started with Plone? Well, you visit the website, plone.org, you download the point-and-click installer. It looks just like a Windows program if you're on Windows. And you click Next, and then you click Install. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, on Windows, you have to run like two other little commands, and then it installs itself as a service in your services panel, so you can stop and start it. That's basically how you install Plone. The installer allows you to install multiple Plone sites. You just press Create New Plone Site, and you have a new Plone Site. That's it's pretty nice. And this is what a clone site looks like out of the box. Totally unthemed, totally naked, stripped down, but you can theme it out like crazy. Out of the box, you have different content types. So as opposed to this concept of pages and posts, you have events, so you can list an event. You have images, news items, pages. Of course, you can add additional content types. And hopefully, we'll, we'll try and do that in my presentation.